In this video, I want to show you how we can use fragments in order to do these orientation changes correctly. For example, using the list view and the detail view in this example works nicely because the phone is now in landscape view. But if I put the phone to portrait, you can see that there's not enough space to show everything. So we can then in the portrait view show only the list view and then if the user clicks on one of the items in the list view then we go to the other fragment and actually show the detail view. So in, port in portrait it doesn't look nice but in landscape view it works 100%. So how can we do this? So for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder inside of my layout folder. So I'm going to go to resources and I'm going to say new directory and this one must be spelled exactly this way so it's going to be layout land which means that this will be the landscape um, layout files so we're going to say okay and if you go into layout you won't see anything there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the activity main xml i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it in the layout folder so i'm going to paste and then you can see we can choose there where it should go. So there I've got the layout folder and there I've got the layout land folder. So I'm going to put it in the layout land folder and say OK. So now I've got two activity main XMLs. I've got a normal one, which is the default one. And then we have the XML file, the activity main XML, that's the landscape one. So we can take this one as the portrait one, the default one, and this one we'll take as the landscape one. So remember that our layout is basically already designed for landscape. So if I look at my activity main, it is already defined as landscape. So we want to change this one then to display how we want to have it displayed for the portrait view. So on both of these layouts, we need to go and put an ID. So let's go to the normal, the normal one and go to the ID there. And let's call this one the layout underscore default. Hmm. So we're going to call that one layout default and the other XML, you can see that one is land activity main XML. We're going to call this one layout underscore landscape and then save. So now we've got two different layout files and the nice thing about Android, as soon as your application starts up now, um, we can run it again, but there won't really be a difference at this stage. So if the phone starts up and the phone is in landscape view, for example, it will, it will automatically go to the layout land folder and use this specific XML file. But if the phone is in portrait view, then it's not in landscape, so it will go to the default one and it will show this one. So in this case, both of them are exactly the same thing. So we need to change something in coding in ACT to actually get this working. So let's quickly go to the main activity because that's where everything is working or going on there. So in the main activity, in the on create, we'll add a few extra lines of coding here. So what I want to do now is I want to check in which orientation the phone is currently, which means basically which of these two layouts, either this one or this one, did the phone actually choose to run? So we're going to go there and say if Let's call find view by ID. If find view by ID, r.id.layout, and let's use the default one now. If the default layout is not equal to null, which means that the phone has actually chosen that layout to be the layout that's showing on the phone now, which means the phone, let me just add a comment there, the phone is in portrait view or portrait mode. So if the layout default is not null, it means that's the one that's currently active, which means that the phone is in portrait mode. Okay, there we go. So then we're going to use something called a fragment manager. So we're going to say fragment manager, Android app, support, Android uh, version 4 support app. So it's fragment manager. Let's just call it uh, manager equals this activities support fragment manager. So we've got a fragment manager and then for a fragment manager, we basically always go and say, we begin a transaction and then we do a few things 
And then when we're done with our transaction, we commit. So this is basically how a fragment manager and a transaction with fragments work. You begin a specific transaction for fragments, and then when you're done, you commit. And in between, you can do some stuff. So you'll see that uh, normally we do the dots underneath each other, so you can clearly see what's going on there. So you can see that we can also hide a fragment if we want to hide a specific fragment. After it's been hidden, you can also show it again. So there's a lot of methods that you can use on uh, fragments. But in this case, I want to I want to hide something and I want to also show something. So when the phone is in portrait mode, we want to show the list fragment and hide the detail fragment. So on the detail fragment that we want to go and hide, we're going to call manager dot find fragment by ID. And for this, we actually need to give IDs to our fragments. So let's quickly go to the activity main XML. Uh, that one, let's call this one as the list frag. And that one is the detail frag. And the same in the other XML file. Let me just save this one. There's the normal layout one, and that one should also be list frag. And this one should also be detail frag. Okay, so now the two have got IDs on both layouts. So we find that ID by R dot ID dot. There's a detail frag, there's a list frag. So I want to hide the detail fragment and I want to show the list fragment. So where's the list fragment? There's list frag. So that's basically what we want to do if the phone is in portrait mode. So if we run this now, let's leave the phone in portrait mode. We only see the list view now. So this is work working nicely now. If I put the phone in portrait view, uh, nothing happens because we still need to code that quickly. But in this case, we've got a king, a queen, a bishop, a knight, a rook, and a pawn nicely in the list view. So then what we can also do here is if the phone, so we're going to say find view by ID, r.id.layout. If it's a landscape view, so if that is not equal to null, let's get that same fragment manager again. And we'll call it manager again equals this dot get support fragment manager. And then again, we begin the transaction. But in this case, we want to show now both of them. So I'm going to say manager dot find fragment by ID, r dot ID dot list frag. I want to show the list fragment. I also want to show r dot ID dot detail frag. And then I want to commit. Okay, so let's run that again. Right, so we've got this one in a list view, but you can see nothing happens when we click. If I put this in portrait view, ah, now in portrait view, we've got everything laid out correctly. If we go back, oh, sorry, in landscape view, if you go back to portrait view, We've got them in a list view. So this is working 100% now. But one problem, when we click now in the list view, it doesn't go to the detail view. Because the detail, detail view at this stage is not visible. And that's why it doesn't go back to that one. So let's see what we can do in order to get that one to work. So in the on chess piece selected method, when we select something, we want to do something now. So let's just do the if statement right at the top. So we're going to test if find view by id r dot id dot if it's the default one, which means the phone is currently in portrait mode, then we want to do something different. OK, so we're going to have the fragment manager again. Let's call it manager again equals this dot get support fragment manager. And then on this manager, we're going to begin the transaction. 
And then what we want to do is to hide something. And what we want to hide is the manager dot find fragment id r dot id dot. So remember now, as soon as we click something in the list view, as soon as I click this, I want to hide the list fragment and I want to show the detail fragment. So I'm going to hide the list fragment. I'm going to show manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot detail fragment. And then I'm going to say commit. So now let's see if this works. I'm running this again. Okay, there we go. So now we've got something weird and something strange now because we, you can see that it automatically starts not with the list view, but it starts with the detail view. And that's a problem because uh, we, we're not able to click anything now. And even if I go back, I'm outside of the application. Uh, so let's just see where, where's that problem. So if you go back to your list frag, you can remember that we've done this part there where we force uh, basically a click on that list view and that click on the list view happens as soon as the activity was created and the list adapter was set so as soon as your application starts it shows the list view but then it runs that piece of code which clicks it and then it goes to this one so this is the problem if I remove this now and run it again we won't have that problem so now we've got the list view if I click on an item it goes back to this one. But now if I go back, I'm back, I'm going back on the activity. And that's also a problem. So there's two places uh, that we want to go and uh, maybe do something new. If I run this again, quickly again, um, let's see that the other change on this one. If I, if I put this now in landscape, you can see it still shows the text view now because this line of coding is not there anymore. So there's something we need to do here, as well as if we go back. Oh, let me just okay, there we go. As as well as if I click on one of the items and I go back, it goes out of the application, and we want to go back to the list view. So there's two things we need to change: this one and see how we can go back to the list view. So going back to the list view is actually very easy. Uh, the only thing we need to do there is to add this one to a back stack and then just passing in null there. So basically, we're adding now this fragment into the back stack, which means that we can go back on the fragments and not on the whole activity. So if we run this again, it's in portrait mode. Go to bishop, click back, we're back to the fragment. King, back, rook back so portrait mode now works exactly as we want to have it work if we go to landscape mode now there's the problem although everything else works so how can we uh, basically get that this line to work correctly without moving to uh, the new fragment and luckily this is also easy to do so what we want to basically do is we want to have this click automatically when the phone is in landscape mode but not when the phone is in portrait mode. So we just do a simple if statement there to check in which state we've got this phone now. So we're going to say if this dot get activity, which gets the activity that hosts, hosts this fragment. In our case, it's the main activity. If this one, we find the view by its ID, r dot id dot. And we want to see now if the default one is equal to null which means the default one is not being selected as the layout of choice. So it's not portrait. Uh, phone in landscape. So if the phone is in landscape mode, then we want to do this. So I'm just going to cut that one, paste it there, remove the comment. So if the phone is in landscape mode, if the default one is null, default is portrait. So if portrait is null, it means it is uh, selected the landscape one, and then we can click it. So let's see if that works now. Let's put the phone in portrait mode. If I click, 100%. If I click night, 100%. Now let's move it to portrait mode. Aha, uh -huh. 
and now it's clicked automatically. So everything working exactly as it should. I hope you've learned something from this video. See you in the next one.